I can show my codes here. The first thing I want to do is I want to add a tab stop in this section. So the song is on the left, but we have a dot leader in between, and the tab stop is over here at the 6 inch mark. Highlight your text, paragraph, tabs. We're going to set up a new tab stop at 6.0 on the ruler. We want the choirs to align to the right edge. And for the dot leader, we're going to choose style 2. Click set, then OK. Think about how much time that saved us by not having to manually put the leaders in there. And it's also completely even on the right side. To change our margins, we can go to Layout, Margins. And we could adjust our margins as needed. Right here is where we can change the orientation and we can press OK. We can add a light text in the background or an image and that is called a watermark. That is on the design ribbon and it's in the page background section and we're going to click watermark. They have some draft copies here or we could add a custom watermark. In this case, we can do sample music program. And we can decide if we want it to be diagonal or horizontal. And we could also even add a picture watermark as needed. Now, as I continue to edit, I want to make it easier to see. So I'm going to go back and remove the watermark for now. Next, I want the special thanks to appear on a new page. And for that, we're going to go to Layout and Break. We can either do a page break or a section break. In this case, we want to do a page break. And then that's going to be where the page begins. I can go back to my home ribbon and click on the show hide. And now right here, I can see where it says page break. And I actually need to remove these two items. Actually, I'll leave these here for now and I'll show you later why it's important to remove those. I'm going to go to view and multiple pages. In this next section, I want to make this into columns. So I'm going to highlight my text here. And I'm going to go to the Layout ribbon and click Columns. And I'm going to choose two columns. Now, as we see, this doesn't look exactly right. So I want volunteers to start at the beginning of a new column. Okay. So to do that, I would need to insert a column break. So right here under breaks, I'm going to click a column break. Well, as we see, that's not on all these pages. So what I want to do now is I want to go back and change this so where we can have three columns. So I can highlight my text, go back to columns. I could do three or I could choose more columns. And then that would let me have an option of a line in between. If I want the columns to be even spaced. Okay. 
And then also I can adjust the spacing between each column. This still isn't formatting the way I want it to. So now I'm going to go to Orientation, and I'm going to click Landscape. So I've gone back and I've switched this to four columns. But if you see here, Sponsors is not starting a new column. So to fix that, I'm going to go to Break and a Column Break. So now Sponsors starts at the beginning. So it looks like here, under our first column, we want that to be a little bit larger, excuse me, a little bit wider. So again, we can go back to Columns and More Columns, okay, and we can make that first column a little bit wider for that. Now, as you can see here, special thanks is not centered across the whole page. And why not? Because it is in one of the columns. Okay, so that's why special thanks is not going all the way across. So, the only way to fix this is by adding a section break. So, after special thanks, we want to add a continuous section break. Now this will allow me to highlight special thanks and change the columns to one, okay, because we don't want that to be in a column. And then we have the rest of our items. So since I changed this to landscape, now on the first page of our program, it doesn't look right. So what I want to do now is I'm going to clear the tab stops. I want to have my first line here be even at the 1.5 inch. Okay, so I'm going to indent that. And now I want to go and change my tab stop here to go to the 8 inch mark. So I'm going to go to Paragraph tabs. Okay, and I'm going to clear that one. I now want to do an 8 inch. I want to line it to the right. I want to use my dot leaders. Make sure you click set, then OK. And again, I can turn off my codes here to see how that looks. I also want to add a page border. That is under Design, and over here under Page Background. Okay. So for this one, I want to go to Art, and I want to choose something that has a little bit more pizzazz. We can adjust the size and the color. We can apply it to the whole page, one section, or as needed. And now we have our page. So on this first page, it is not centered top to bottom. Okay, so this is a little bit different. If we wanted to center it horizontally, all we would have to do is click here for center. But to center it vertically, it's a little bit more steps. So we're going to have to go to our Layout tab, and under Page Setup, we're going to open the dialog box, okay, and we're going to have to click the Layout tab. And under Vertical Alignment, now we can click Center. And we do have to make sure that we highlight our text first so it knows what to do. So again, this is a couple more steps. So we're going to go to the Layout Ribbon. We're going to click on Page Setup. Click on the Layout tab. And go to the Center Alignment. So to review, we actually were working with several different tabs. Under the Design Ribbon, 
that's where we can add our watermark. So I may want to go back now and add my custom watermark. Okay, we could also do a page color and we can do a page border. On the layout ribbon, under page setup, we can change the margins. We can change the orientation between portrait and landscape. We could adjust the size of the page if you want it to be on letter or legal. Or we can adjust our columns. We can also adjust our page breaks and section breaks. Okay. And under page breaks is where we can also adjust a column break for when we want a column to start at the beginning of a new line. And finally under page setup, again we can work with our margins, the size, and under layout we can also adjust the vertical alignment.